Hi, hope you're doing great. And welcome back to my channel. Please make sure to like, subscribe if you are new here. Um, so like I promised, <laughs> doing our live session yesterday. So if you haven't watched the um, our live Q&A, you can check it out. It's on my channel. You can check our live videos and learn more from the questions that um, were raised yesterday. So yay, it's finally fourth of January 2023. So the joint application is open. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> all right, so this video is all about joint application, how to fill the application form, how to select your programs, how to go about these joint applications. And I'll be giving more information about this ongoing application in the course, like every week, every now and then. So stay tuned on my channel and make sure um, you'll be on the lookout, all right, for updates. I'll be giving updates. So just stick to my channel while you go through this. And if you have any questions, if you are filling the application form and you have questions, you can just come back to my channel, um, comment, ask your questions. I will check the comment section. And also you can send me an email at emiedoconsulting at gmail.com, all right? So let's go. I'm going to share my screen right away. So we go to studyinfo.fee. That's where everything happens. All right, so here we are. As you can see, this is a studyinfo.fee. Um, this is the web page and please do well to check the latest, you know, the updated version because there is another, uh, the old version of this website. So if you open it, this is what you see. This is a new one. This is what you're going to see, all right? And if we come here, you see joint application to higher education, spring 2023 from the 4th, which is today, to the 18th of January, 2023. And I love this information. It's very, this is very, very important. Okay. It says, submit your application between 4th of January, 2023 at 8 a.m. and 18th of January, 2023. So you are submitting the application form. Application form has to be submitted before application period closes to be considered. So even if you are supposed to upload attachments later on make sure you submit the application form before or on the 18th of January, of january before 3 p.m on that day it's not midnight 3 p.m not midnight you can apply to up to six study programs on one application form only one application form per person is considered no registration or login required. So this is really simple. You don't need to go create a, like an account or whatever. You can just go straight away. And I just want to reiterate that if, for example, you have three or four programs that you want to apply to and you are like, okay, I've applied to one program I submit, then I want to reapply, you will not be allowed. This information is very important. So only one application. So if you are like, oh, I, 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 I am interested in this one program, and then you apply for the one program, and then you click submit, you cannot apply for another program, which means you, you have only one application form. But even after the, you, you submit your application form, you can edit it within, that, that's between the eight, the four, the four to the 18, you can edit it because you'll be sent send a link to your um, email, all right? So make sure you give the correct email address. Make sure your email address is correct. Double check your email address so that when you submit the form and you want to edit, you'll, you'll be given a one-time link. And when you click, click on that link, you edit, and you submit, another link will be sent to you. So within this uh, two weeks time frame, you can edit your application your application form so please make sure 
that you you are you already have your program set you apply to all your programs before um submitting okay so now you have application instructions study programs available so you can just this is the application form if you see here application form application instructions they will tell you more about it all right so you have everything here that you need to know no registration is needed you don't need to register you can assess the application form during the application period application forms cannot be saved as draft no however you can fill out the form by answering at least to all required questions and send it so it's not like oh when i start filling then i'll leave me halfway and come back no you have to finish every complete everything and then you submit and you can complete and make modifications to your form during the application period like i mentioned when you submit you can come back and edit um your personal details if you do not have a finished identity code you are asked to fit in your date of birth and gender your education background additional questions attachments everything is here please you have enough time you have enough time go through this information go through this information and read the instructions so how you're doing so now let's take a look at the study programs that are available for this in this joint application mm, the network is on my side uh, 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 it's giving me the vibe <laughs> so these are the different programs bachelor of engineering there's so many of them so many so we can't go through all the programs so what i'm gonna do is i will select one program let's let's see so you have both masters and and bachelor programs available in this joint application okay so there are so many that you can come here and then you go to two you're gonna see more programs so if you check here there are 32 educational institutions and there are 242 programs so that's a lot <laughs> for example let's choose bachelor of engineering information technology at the farm you can see here application is ongoing and you can see that um the fees is eight thousand euros and when you click here dun, 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 okay so when you click here, you get more information about this program. So you can see here uh, the scholarship, the grants 3,500 euros is tied with the students to the with the studies completed so that the student is to complete at least 55 quizzes during the academic year. So more information about the tuition fee and scholarship from here. So if you click from here, it will take you to the school's website and you will see more about this program. So this page is very important because you get to see that the language of instruction is Finnish is very important because it's English, sorry, because there are some programs with Finnish and the planned duration is four years, fees is year, form of teaching is contact teaching, daytime teaching, so full time program, the fees, the scholarship. And if you scroll down here, the number of places they are looking for 550 students, sorry. And if you want to read more about the admission criteria, you can click here to see more and then fill the application form. It takes you to the, to the application form right away. Da, 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 da. Skip, spin, 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 spin. So we have the application form. Joint application to higher education. Security. So here you can see the different programs all right so this is the main this is the program you're applying for if you choose other programs and you are like i'm no longer interested in this program you can come here remove and you take it out so now i already have one program that i'm interested in. i want to add more so you see add more when you go add study program yeah when you click here 
you can see different programs and when you scroll and you're like okay i'm not i can't find my program you can check here for example you want to apply also for nursing when you click nursing you see different nursing programs all right so i'm just gonna add for example one nursing program let's take um bachelor of healthcare at novia university of Africa. i click add all right so it's it's already there and i want to also apply for a business program i will move nursing and i click business then i have bachelor of business administration central university of person i add all right i want to apply for more business programs in different universities now i want to choose um laria or um hagahelia the business program Hagahelia, i add so now I have about four programs. Now I want to go to IT, all right, ICT or technology. Let me just click technology, technology. <laughs> all right, so I have Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Information Technology, um, YAMC, that's YAMC University of Presidents, I add. Okay, and I need one more programming technology let's go to lab university i'll choose bachelor of engineering i add okay so now you can see it disappears automatically so which means it's six all right so now i have six programs there is no way i'm gonna add it so let's take a look one two three four five six so i have six programs all right i want to apply for these six programs but if i'm like mm, I think I, I changed my mind and then I come here, I removed. So I've removed one program. And now you see add study program. It comes back because I still have a, a chance for one more. Now you just go to your personal information. First name, preferred names, last name, nationality. If you're not from Finland, let's say um okay, I'm from Cameroon. A, B, C, D. <laughs> Cameroon, okay. I'm on Cameroon. All right, so you see, once you click Cameroon, do you have a Finnish personal identity code? You are from abroad, you don't have a Finnish national a personal identity code, so you have to click no. All right, I want to stress this because if you don't change this, Let's, let me put finish, then you see a uh, Finland, then you see what I'm talking about. If you don't change this Finland, then this is the only option you have for you to put your Finnish personal identity code. Because if you are from Finland, if you are a Finn, then you automatically have it. But once you change this to any other country, let me say, let's say I'm from Gabon. So they will ask you, so I can. I can be from Gabon. I can I come from Gabon, but I live in Finland. So if you do you have a Finnish personal identity code? You say yes, then you have to put it here. But if you say no, then you have to put your date of birth, your gender, everything is here. You select female. If you're if you are a woman like me, <laughs> place and country of birth, you put your country, your passport number, your national identity number. Your email address is very important. That's why you can see here that this ensure that the given email address is typed correctly and it's your personal address. Important messages will be sent to this email address. Very important. And you'll be asked to rewrite your email because it's very important. They want to be sure. The phone number, your country of residence, if you're not in Finland, you change it. And then your address poster called town city i'm from cameroon i remember i didn't have i don't we, we don't have home address right <laughs> i use my uh, my dad's the address um from my dad's um place of work so 
I also, I think at one point I used my work address as well. So you can do that. They just want to, to have um, a mailing address. Okay. So municipality of residence, um, your native language, mine is English. If, if, you are, if yours is Chinese or Estonian, you put it there and then permission I agree on the terms of the online training service. I read on that. So, however, your contact language, how do you want them to get back to you? Is it English? You select here because there are just three of them. Either you finish Swedish or, 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 or English. So you choose English. And then now this is important. Your education background. So if you're coming from abroad, have you completed the bachelor's, or master's, or doctoral degree in Finland? No. Upper secondary school in Finland? No. So you just scroll down here. General upper secondary school syllabus completed in Finland? No. Um, former vocational in Finland? No. Um, all this. And you, when you come here, upper secondary so you have to read these options very well. Upper secondary education completed outside Finland. General or vocational, yes, you click. Bachelor's, master's, doctoral degree completed outside Finland, you click. So for example, if I take this, I have to put year of completion, the program. So when you say degree, it means just put your, if it's advanced level, if it's YA, put it. Educational institution, you put your school year of completion. So if you you already have a bachelor's degree and you're coming from master's, you also click here. So year of completion degree, what do I do now? <laughs> you put your degree, degree level, is it bachelor or master's? Your higher education institution, year of completion. Okay. Have you completed general upper secondary education or a vocational qualification? If yes, you put yes. So your country of completion, you put it here, the country. Have you completed university or university or applied science degree in Finland before 2023? If yes, you put, if no, you put. All right, so this one is for students under the age of 18. So if you are above 18, don't bother about this program. So don't bother about this. And this does not apply to all the programs. That's why I said you have to know the program uh, requirements. So you can see this information is shown for three study programs. So among the six programs that you've selected, there are three programs that require this information if you are under 18. All right, exemption from tuition fees. So there are five study programs that want you to to give this information. So if you are in Finland, you have a blue card. Da, 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 da. So you, you don't you are not you, you, are, you don't fall within this category. So you just click, I do not have any of the above. Then you'll be asked to upload a copy of your passport. All right. So you have to upload it. So for those of you saying you don't have passport, this is my you have to upload a copy of your passport here. Yeah. Um restriction on student admission in university of applied science require state of health. So there is one program that requires you to talk more about this, your state of health. I think it's because it's the nursing program because I have nursing program among the six. Um, still, again, you have to still upload your password. Don't say, I already put uploaded my password. Uh, follow the instruction. You are still to upload your passport here. And then... International UAS exam. So it means that out of the six or five programs, four require this information. So you go through it and then your personal login and PIN code. So this is, uh, this is required from the four programs that you choose. You have to log in to the first page, da, 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 this, this, all of this. So in addition to the personal login, Link you need a personal pin code to log into the first phase. So more information here. And then your graduation date, 
of an upper secondary school level degree. Again, you have to. I have completed upper secondary school education outside Finland and I have received a final diploma. So when you click date and year of final diploma, that the final diploma was awarded, put it here. And then Yank University, now because I choose it, this particular program requires me to have to, to talk about this information. Students will be selected on the basis of the points awarded for an online course and interview. Applicants particip part participate and complete an online course in English at YAMS Open UAS, which is called the online course is part of the degree programs curriculum. So you are gonna do this. Applicants applied in the joint application with valid application to the degree program in question will be automatically registered for the open. So this is very important. That's why you have to you really have to take your time. So all this information is being given because you choose bank. I have to pay attention for and I'm applying for scholarship. This is also important. This is very important because you apply for your scholarship when you, like on this form. If you don't choose this, forget about scholarship. So I'll choose this because I'm applying for scholarship. And then the nursing program also wants you to to state if you have um, participated in the nursing open part. No, you haven't. And they also have questions about early bed, all right? So I am a fee based student. I will be considered for the first year early bed. Click. Are you applying with the help of an educational agent? Ha! You people, this one, if you don't put me here, eh, put me, oh, put me as your ag agent. Put me. So if yes, you have to write my name. Write here, Tabby Emilia. All right. Are you using an educational agency? If yes, please state the name of the agency. So you are not using an educational agency. You want to state you can state the need to do consulting. All right. You are using it. I'm giving you information for free. So when you put it there, that's it. You're done. You're done. After filling everything, you're done. So you can come here, preview, and then when you preview everything, you submit. So that's it. That's it. That is it. Okay. <laughs> so I'll sh stop sharing my screen. So now I really hope that you go through this over and over again. When you are filling your application form and you are stuck, come back to this uh, video. Go through it slowly. Pause. Take a look and fill it. Um, I'm gently. Don't be in a haste. All right. And you can ask your questions. Leave your questions in the comment section. I will answer them. Okay. I really want to help you go through this. And remember, include me as your educational an education agent. All right. <laughs> Right, Tabby, Emilia, I am directing you to do this. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and I'll be giving back-to-back -back information as we progress, okay? So give this video a thumbs up, share it, and invite your friends that, come on, we can apply for this. There's no registration fee. You don't need to log in or whatever. You can just apply. So I wish you all the best. Stay healthy. Let's go through this joint application together. God bless you.